it's fair to say that AI is making a wave right now. Anywhere you go, you see headlines about AI left, right, and in the center. But how does it impact the world of UI and UX? A lot of designers think they will lose their jobs because of AI, and while I understand why they would think so, I don't think that's gonna be the case. But on the other hand, product teams that use AI to their advantage will get ahead of those who don't. So let me show you seven ways designers can use AI to give your startup a competitive edge. And kicking things off, we've got design workflow automation that means things like validating data, assembling design elements through pattern recognition, or creating repeating features. AI algorithms also quickly adapt to new environments, which means designers can generate concepts faster and build smarter workflows. That doesn't mean that AI will do the whole process from start to finish for you, but it will definitely get you out of the starting block that we all experience. If that sounds good to you, a great tool you can try out is called Brainpool AI. AI. I will leave a link to it in the description below in this video, as well as other tools that I mentioned further along. And up next we've got analyzing user data. And I don't know about you, but as a designer myself, I can tell you that gathering user data takes forever. So I cannot tell you how much of a relief it is to be able to get that process done for a whole lot quicker now. Tools like Research AI help you do exactly that. It tracks page visits and engagement while also predicting user behavior and detecting patterns in user data that might go unnoticed. And as you already know, gathering information on how users interact with your product will help you make design decisions quicker than ever before. And the faster you make decisions, the quicker you'll progress. And the quicker you'll progress, the more money your product will make. Sounds like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? Next, we'll get something obvious, but it still has to be mentioned. And that is using writing tools like ChatGPT or Copy AI to help them in your product writing. As designers, we obviously are not writers, but instead of leaving lorem ipsum in your wireframes or prototypes, you can have AI tools give you some pointers in the right direction. Tools like that usually come in with copy that is optimized for both users and search engines. So there is also that perk to it. You should obviously have your copywriters handle the final draft that will fall into the hands of users, but it does feel nice to give them something to work with. And next up, we've got creating user personas, which you can already tell sounds like a dream come true for a designer. Take a tool like Smartome, for example. It gathers what people discuss on social media and forums and turn that into actionable insights that you can use to create user personas. User persona creation, as any designer will tell you, is a complicated process that has a lot of moving parts to it. Anything that can give you a helping hand in that process is an advantage that you should take. But at the same time, tools like that are still fairly flawed. So you should still do more research based on what a tool like that gave you. I don't know when we reach a point where we have user personas served to us on a silver platter, but I certainly cannot wait. The next thing we should cover is using AI to help you with prototyping and user testing. AI algorithms like Visualize help with user testing in various ways. For example, they quickly spot user behavior patterns, create detailed simulations of user actions that consider different inputs, and automate tasks like collecting user feedback. This understanding of user product interaction allows UX designers to improve their prototypes for a bigger, better, and more successful launch. This is a big one, because as designers, we spend hours upon hours of our time trying to understand and adapt inside product to their behavior. The quicker we have those insights, the quicker the product will start getting off the ground, and that's what it's all about. And our next point is to help designers move out of what we call paralysis mode. We all have this happen to us all the time. Projects often get stuck at the beginning due to their complexity, especially for solo designers or small teams. Teams. AI tools like VAS can help break this cycle by offering initial ideas, designers can use AI to create wireframes, user insights, and project outlines with just a few prompts. This will save you from starting from scratch and let you focus on improving the product for better user experience. But with that said, just like writing tools like ChatGPT, this is a great for getting you off the initial blog that you have. What is not so great about those tools is coming up with something amazing that will be used in the final version of the product. So always keep in mind, use it to get ideas flowing, but avoid relying on it too much. Otherwise, your product will suffer heavily because of it. All right, and our final point for today is something that you should consider when your product is already mature and makes decent amount of profit. And that is using AI to work on accessibility features. AI is currently huge for addressing web accessibility features. For example, AI-powered screen readers convert text to speech, helping visually impaired users access websites. Or natural language 
language processing aids, voice-based interactions make digital experience inclusive for those with such impairments. By using AI in design, designers already create accessible interfaces for diverse user needs. If that sounds like something your product could benefit from, you can try out a product called Accessibi. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next one.